Welcome everyone to iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. Today we're going to have an overview on how to set up and install Google Cloud Print service on your Windows computer so that you can print from your Google Chromebooks uh, as well as from your Google Chrome browser on any computer. And uh, printing is very easily accessible for students and staff as well as the most easiest way to set it up and it's completely free. So um, the best way to start out with is that we're going to go to open an RDP window, remote desktop window. I'm going to shrink this screen so that you'll be able to see it a little bit better. I'm currently running it on a Windows 2012 server. You can run it on Windows 7, Windows Vista. As long as it has a Google Chrome browser installed, as you see, it, there it is. I think I do have a printer installed, but I'm going to have to remove it just so you see the differences of what it will show and what it doesn't show when you have printers installed. So let's start from scratch. So for an example, you install Google Chrome. You don't need the toolbar. I'm already logged in here with my Google email account through the school district. You want to select on your waffle. Now, you would only have this option if you are a Google admin for your district. Now, if you're doing this for your house, then you can just add printers. You don't need to be Google admin. Uh, you can just add it, and I'll show you how to set it up. Uh, but this basically works for both personal and also business and enterprise. So let's go to more, select on admin. The only reason you only go to admin is if it's enterprise district or a small business company or larger. So select on admin. You want to make sure you select and create a Google group. This Google group will contain all the individuals that are allowed to print to any one or all these printers at one time. So you want to select on groups. You want to select on create group here in the bottom right. And then here you can give it a name, staff, GCP, Google Cloud Print. Uh, I would say whatever the, the name of the group and the group email to be the same. Description, this is allowing them to print uh, via their Chromebooks or Chrome browser or however you want to state that. Access level, it's really up to you. You can leave it public, only have certain members, uh, announcement only or restricted. I'm leaving it as public because we'll change this later on. But right now, for, during this tutorial, I'm leaving it as public. Uh, and then you want to select on create. You do not want to select and add all users to your group because the problem is if you add all users, it's going to add everyone in like your whole LDAP. Like if you have 2,000 people, it's going to add them all. If you just want maybe 20, 30 people, there's no need to select this option. So select uh, create, and then you'll create your group. So I've already created my group. It's right here. Staff GCP. And what you want to do is once it's created, you want to select on manage users in staff Google Cloud Print. Now you want to make sure this is set up before you install your Google Cloud Print service which I'll show you in a moment. So you select on Manage Users and Staff. You would also want to make sure every time you add someone to this list, you want to make sure they are a member, not a member, an owner. If you have them as a member, they're going to receive an email notification saying, hey, I'm letting you join, uh, join this group. Uh, do you want to allow access to print? You don't want that. You would want them to print instantaneously. So I'm just going to put myself I'll put others in a little bit, and then you want to put owner, and then select add. Now automatically, I'm the owner, done, so forth, even though this is my account, but I'm adding myself as an owner on this group. So here I am, iOS, macOS Genius, there's my email, and I'm the owner. That's all you need to do. And then as you progress and keep adding more people, just make sure it's selected on owner, you put all the email addresses, the people you want to have access to. You select add and then they're all added as owners as well. So now we can just go ahead and close this window, but we're not because we're going to have to go to a website and download 
the software called the Google Cloud Print. So let me copy that browser, that, that URL. Let me paste this here. Here it is. So download Google Cloud Print service. Oh, this is what I want to say before I jump into this. Um, if you go to your Internet Explorer on your Windows machine, this will also explain it to you that you cannot use Internet Explorer because it's going to say your browser is not supported. Uh, but it requires Google Chrome on 7 Vista or XP or XPS Central's pack. If you're a Windows server, it doesn't show it here, but it does support it because it works for me. So let's close this. Now we're back to Google Chrome. You would want to download this software. It takes a few seconds to download. Here it is at the very bottom to my left. If it has not downloaded, feel free to select this link again, and then it will actually allow you to download it again. So once we open this, we're going to select on Run. And there it is. It's done, it's installed, and now you see an icon on your desktop here. So I want to go ahead and close this. You can close your browser because it's going to open a new browser for you to log in. So we're going to show you, I'm going to show you when you log in the first time, if you have no printers installed, what it will look like. So this is my domain. This is my username for the computer. Then I'll require the computer password for login credentials. Now, if you're using it on your personal computer or another Windows 7 computer or another XP machine that is not connected to a com company domain, then you won't have a domain. You will just have your username and then the password. So let me log in. And under here where it says service state not registered is because you have no printers installed. So you're going to see in a moment when I hit register. Oh, I entered a password wrong. My apologies. So when I hit register, it's going to pop up Google Chrome. It's going to ask me to log in. So I'm going to log in. And then it's going to tell me that there's no printers detected. There are no printers to register if you have a classic printer. So classic printer is a non-Google print ready printer. So if, I don't know, we'll say five years and older, it might be less than that, but any five years or older, if it's not a Google Cloud Print uh, printer built in, uh, you have to you do it the classic way. But there's a way to run this. So I'm going to show you in a moment. Uh, and also, this step is not required if your printer is Google Cloud Print ready. Now, but that means you would have to go to the, each individual printer, set it up, individually on them but you don't want to do that this this software completely supersedes all this information or process so just like how you normally add a printer to your computer uh, it will add it to your Google Cloud Print and that's all I'm going to show you in a moment so we're going to go ahead and close this see Google Chrome is signed in to add printers there's no printers so we're going to hit OK and it could not create a configuration profile because there's no printers installed so what you want to do is, as you see, it's still not registered. Close this. You would want to go and then go to your control panel, view devices and printers, or control panel and then printers. You want to add a printer. These are the listed printers that we have that are shareable on our network and that are being seen. What you want to do, if you don't want to be seen in this section, you want the printer to be hidden, you would just select on the printer that was not listed here. Understand when you're at this screen, I've clicked this link, Add Printers by TCPIP, which I normally do. It's much more easier for me. Uh, does not do anything. So I can single click, double click, triple click, quadruple click. Doesn't do anything at all. Just gives me an hourglass. So you, what you need to do is add a local or network printer as administrator. So what it's going to do, it's going to bounce back to that screen where I had all my printers. Now it's going to run it as an admin. So there you go. There's the printers. Now you want to select on the printer that wasn't listed. And now I'm going to have additional options to add that printer. So let me go ahead and select that. Now I have the option for TCP IP address and hostname. So I want to select on next. I'm going to have to add a printer. 
gonna add my printer that's in my office here. Oops, if I can type. You're gonna keep hearing a door smack closed because I'm in my office and there's people going to the break room. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click on next. It's gonna look for it. It's gonna add it in a moment. And as you know, this section, there's only two devices here and there's no printer. Now that's the printer. I'm gonna call it test printer. Hit next. You do not wanna share this. If you share this here down to the bottom and you allow this, it's gonna appear on the list of all those other printers. You do not wanna share it because then maybe some random individual on the network is gonna say, oh, I want that printer, I'm gonna add it. And then they don't know where that printer is or wherever the case may be. So you just, this is only for Google Chrome. So I wanna select on next. Print page, I'm not going to. You're gonna hear a print page in a moment. So now the printer is added. You wanna close this window of all the printers you've had. You wanna open this up again. You wanna log in with your computer name and password or your network username and password. You're gonna select on register. It's gonna open Google Chrome. It's gonna ask you to re-log into Google Chrome. Yeah, this is a bit tedious, but you know what? Uh, it works. I'm not gonna complain about free, so. And then you're gonna be prompted with, hey, printers to register. Hey, wonderful, we've detected printers. Now, this is the way that you need to do it. Now it says here, this is a step not required to print Google Cloud Print, click add printers, will just add local printers to your account. So making sure you have the printers that you want is checkmarked. If you don't want certain ones, then uncheck them. But here, this is the main thing. You wanna make sure you automatically register all new printers as you connect. Because every time the printers are added, they're gone to Google Chrome, and you don't have to keep logging in and re-adding each printer. Now also, so you understand that when you install the Cloud Print service, there's an option to automatically add new printers to the Cloud Print. This is an option right here, this option here. You wanna make sure this is turned on. Otherwise, there is no way to add a new printer to Cloud Print without resetting it, which basically means you'll delete all of your shared printers and all of the shares and have to do them all from scratch. So if you have this done checked and I hit add printers, you can't go back and say, oh, let me turn this back on so I can keep adding printers. Uh, you have to actually technically delete all your printers from your computer. Then you have to go into this machine and then log in. And then besides, it's, and in a moment, it's going to show running. But it's going to say, fail to create configuration profile. And then, then you'll be able to go ahead and add new printers and go back into this section where it says automatically register new printers again. So um, I advise you always check mark this. If you don't want to do this, uh, then you have to keep going back and forth. That's a bit of annoyance. But there you go. So I want to select on add printers to select these both options. Now it says you're all ready to go. It closes the browser automatically. Now you see the service state is running. So now I can go ahead and close this, minimize this, however you want to do it. It's going to still keep running. So if I minimize it and go here, oh yeah, because it's, it's, a, it's a program that just stays hidden. All right, so when you close that, uh, it may close the actual client. So you want to make sure you leave this open. And when you double click it, it shows running. So you're good. So you can close it again, even though it may not appear on your bottom right taskbar. Okay, so that's pretty much it in how to print. So let me go ahead and open up Google Chrome. I'm logged into Google Chrome. So if I wanted to print, so if I go to um, uh, Mac OS, oops, not Mac OS. Well, I do have another channel called Mac OS Genius. So if I go to iOS Genius on my YouTube channel, Oh, look at that. 
uh, yeah, more subscribers. Thanks for subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe and also add the bell notification so you can get updates on my new videos on all related to Apple as well as iOS devices, Windows, uh, as well as other activities out there. Feel free to visit my channel so you can get to know it more. Um, so for an example, I would like to go ahead and print this page. So if I hit this little dot page, hit print, my printer is going to pop up as test print. The one that I've just created, you want to select on change. When you select on change, it'll show you my local destinations which are installed on the computer and Google Cloud Print. Google Cloud Print is like if I, um, if I had this set up at home, it's going to still pop up if my printer is on and logged in on my computer. Um, so that's a great thing to know about it. So I want to do test printer. I want to select on print. And the printer is on a network behind me. My computer is wirelessly. Uh, it's going to print it through Google Cloud Print. So basically, this is the best and easiest way to do it completely free using Google Cloud Print. Uh, for your school, your district, as well as for you as an individual, if you're on the go travel, say you have a printer in a different state and you're traveling there and you want to print before you get there, however the case is, you can also do this on your mobile phone as well. As long as you log into that Google Chrome browser with your username and password, you're all good to go. Okay, well, thank you for visiting iOS Genius on the YouTube channel and how to use Google Cloud Print, set it up. If you have any other questions or concerns, feel free to put them in the comments down below. Feel free to look at my other videos for education as well as Jam uh, for Casper MDM solutions that I provide as well as anything for IEP or apps. Uh, thanks again and have a great day.